welcome back to another vlog. Today is Friday, November 10th, and I'm kind of picking up where the last vlog ended. So if you didn't see that one, make sure you guys go ahead and check that out because I showed you guys the whole unboxing of all the new shipment that we got in and how I got it all ready for you guys and restocked the shop. So the restock happened earlier this week. I restocked on Tuesday just because I was sick the previous week. So I wasn't able to get the restock out in a timely manner. So I restocked a little early. Normally I restock on Thursdays. Between Tuesday and today, I have accumulated quite a few orders already. So thank you guys all so much. Last night I did go ahead and pack up a few orders that were non-plant orders. So things like moss poles, pots, acrylic plant display cases, stuff like that. I got those all packed up and they are being picked up today. The biggest thing I wanna do in this vlog is honestly, get this entire studio cleaned and organized. That's going to involve organizing all the new plants into the shelves, getting with some of the propagations, maybe even restyling some of the shelves as well, organizing my desk where I do all the orders at, organizing all my supplies and organizing my big closet in the back that has like all my packing stuff and extra supplies because that is a complete mess and I just keep shoving things in there and it's just driving me nuts. So I need to go ahead and do that. I also need to water everything in here here as well as around the house. So this is definitely going to be a very productive vlog. We have a lot of stuff to do and maybe you can do some plant chores and cleaning up on your side as well because it is a new season. So we wanna make sure that all of our plant tools and stuff like that is all organized, clean out our cabinets, whatever we gotta do. So let's go ahead and jump into this week's vlog. So right now I have all the new plants just scattered along this table here and I just wanna start fitting them all into the shelves. I need to also move some things around to make it more efficient. I have freed up quite a lot of space with the pots on the pot shelf. So I have these extras down here. So I'm going to probably start fitting these into the shelf over here so that I can use all this space for plants. I have all of my acrylic display cases and propagations in here and I have some rehabs down here, but I'm thinking that we're going to move some stuff around so that they are kind of more out of the way. This side of the room is usually always empty and I don't know why. I think it's just like the way I have the shelves and also I keep propagations in there. So I wanna start utilizing these two shelves down here for sure. I have a ton of bins up here and they have all my potting mix stuff. I want to get those off of that shelf and start incorporating them into the shelf over here. It's really hard to see everything. I apologize and I have the light shining but this shelf is kind of a mixture of just all types of random stuff so we need to get with that and that little bit on the top right there that is the remainder of the display cases and they have all sold this week so we literally have none left I will talk more about that later and when you guys can expect another restock and you're probably like girl why are you stuffing all these plants over here these are all the big plants and at this moment this is the only shelf that I have configured like this because I don't really have that many big plants all the time so I only use like one shelf for it it doesn't really matter right now because all of these sitting here have already sold and they're gonna be gone on Monday so it's just kind of a placeholder for right now so once they're out of here then I can figure it out better but pretty much every single thing in this has already sold so I'm not really worried about it These are like mostly my plants. Remember my luxurians that died? Look at it now. It put out a new leaf. It did get a little damage here. It's pretty big, so I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. I'm trying to figure out this whole section over here because I just don't like the way it looks. That came back from the dead, as well as this varicosum. This one was originally a shop plant and it is still gonna be a shop plant. So I'm gonna move this into my little pile of things that are coming up. There is another one that's also unfurling a leaf. So I'm hoping that one will be ready this week too so I can get that out for you guys as well. I actually don't know what this is, but it's something that died back in my collection, some type of anthurium. So once it gets a little bit bigger, I'll probably know what it is. Yeah, a few things definitely came back, so that's good. So we're gonna 
do like a little double display case on the top shelf over here. And this has some Hoya New Guinea Ghost and some Alocasia Corms. This one is just mostly Alocasia Corms. And look what we got. We have, I hope you guys can even see it. But we have our first Alocasia Bambino Variegated, one of the babies. And then we have three more, which are starting to sprout now. This is what it looks like. I know it's hard to see. So hopefully in a few weeks, these guys will all be available for you guys too. We have one more box, this one here. This is another up and coming plant uh, box. So a lot of these are pretty much ready. They are just like some starter plants. So these ones will probably be available soon too. I really do wanna get with this shelf in particular because it's so ugly. For the most part, we're pretty much done. So I'm just finishing up now and then I need to start cleaning up the pots and all the other like accessories and stuff too. Can y'all please come get your niece? Cause look at her right now. She just cannot help herself, I swear. Like she just keeps getting herself in these situations and then she acts like she doesn't know how to get out. Come get y'all niece, cause I cannot wear her. I've been like on and off of the camera, but I just potted up two props here. This Florida Beauty and then this Monstera Alba One Leafer. These are both water props. I do still only have a few left. And I did go around and cut a few plants of my own collection. So I just have them rooting in water as well. But this time around, I didn't really take them any propagations. I've pretty much organized everything to my best ability at this moment. Just keep in mind that remember, a lot of these are shop plants and everything in here is going to just come and go. So this doesn't stay this way forever. It's just basically depending on whatever we have in here. So pretty much everything is like the same. I did move around some stuff in this shelf and this shelf over here. Those two shelves just hold my own plants. Those are the only plants that I really have in this room besides some of the plants on my desk, but like that's really it. There's really nothing here at the moment. Um, but lately when I'm filming like sit downs, I film this side. So you only really see like this and i'm pretty happy with the way this looks right now like i said earlier this is definitely going to change these have pretty much all sold so they're not going to be here so i'm going to fit in some of the other bigger plants that haven't sold once these are out of here so pretty much all these plants down here they are rehab plants and they are just plants that just got beat up like in shipments and stuff like that or like lost all their leaves but they are still healthy so i'm just growing them out and i just keep them down at the bottom so that they're all just in one place you know what i mean everything else is just plants that are for sale you guys know that and then on the right side of the room this is the shelf that i always struggled with the most i tend to try to keep all the same type of plants together usually i will always keep monstera elbows over here ties and anthuriums just because of how large they are they don't usually fit in this configuration just because they're too big so we have all the big plants there this bin down here this has some propagations in there it looks like a lot, but there's really not much in there at the moment. I wish I had somewhere else to put this so that I could utilize this bottom half. I just don't know where to put it right now, but I like to keep propagations in their own like little jars and water. And I just keep them in this bin so they don't fall over because I do have the cats and they do play in here. So I don't need them, you know, shattering the glass and knocking it over. So this is just like a way to just secure them. But you guys saw, I did put the two acrylic plant clay cases on the top. So it's easy access for me to just open them and then I can just go in here when I need to. These are all propagation. So these will be available once they are rooting. And then we have a small shelf of anthuriums right now. A lot of these have sold too. So this is not gonna look like this, but that's what we got going on over here. These anthurium Michelles, I need to get new photos of because they have grown so much and they're just really, really large now. I put some of the Monstera elbows down here. These two trays down here, these are all plants that are up and coming and ready for the next restock. And I move over plants that are ready to be restocked. I try to keep them all in one area so that I can know exactly what is going up the next week and the next week like that. So here are some of the things that are going to be up and coming. Usually if I don't have a big restock planned and I'm just doing like a filler restock, I will just drop like a couple. I won't put all of them um, just so that we can have some other stuff because lately I haven't really been propagating that much. And that is just because it just takes too long. And in this business, like if you wanna make money, you need to have plants and you need to be selling them. I find it easier just to buy and sell. So that's what I like to do, even though that might like seem like more work, but I feel like I have a better profit that way than me 
propagating and then waiting and you know stuff like that so that's why i don't really propagate that much nowadays i'll do like small stuff like the allocations and stuff because those still are profitable at a small size but other than that lately i don't really cut the plants down because uh i don't know i just don't feel like it <laughs> but um these are the extra two props I just potted up so they won't be available next week but they'll be available the week after after I like you know make sure that they're doing good so I have another set of acrylic display cases here these two I have them vertically standing so you probably cannot tell these two are not the same as these two up here or for instance this one here is a better comparison so this is the one that I sell in the shop as you can see it's much wider um, when it's standing vertically. These ones are much more narrow. These are the like original samples I had for the shop. So believe it or not, I did a lot of research on this silly little product um, because there was so many different sizes and stuff like that. And I tested out a lot of different sizes. So all the ones in this room that are displayed, they are all samples. They are really like not the final <laughs> product that you guys have. So yeah, these are all samples. That's why I keep them because not all of them are perfect or a lot of them are even broken. Um, like they have cracks in them and stuff like that. So I don't sell them. Yeah, this one is one of the older samples and I'm glad that I didn't go with this one because it is just really narrow and I'm glad I went with the other one so yeah but anyway these have some plants in them for sale these are all of those amy geraniums and little florida beauties that i put in fluval in the last i think the last two vlogs so i'll link that vlog at the top if you want to go and check out that process now that the plants are done i want to start working on the rest of the room the floor is a total mess there is a ton of like dead leaves on the floor soil mix everything i also want to fill in all the gaps of the pot shelf because i've sold a lot of them and it's super empty and sparse and i can just feed in some of the other ones and i also need to reorganize the shelf on the very end because that is the remainder of the acrylic plant display cases so this is the remainder right here and these have all actually sold since we are not going to have anything on the shelf for a little while i'm just going to fill in the gaps with the pot this product i did talk about it before if i was deciding if i'm going to bring it back or not long story short i probably am going to bring it back it's probably not going to be back until january 2024 and i know that sounds really far away but it's only like a month away the reason why i don't want to place a large order in wholesale right now for something like this is because I'm afraid that it's going to get delivered the week where I'm completely gone because um, so I'll be going on vacation in December. The last time this was delivered, it was delivered amongst multiple days. Um, there was just like, I would get like a box a day even though I had ordered hundreds of these. So I just don't want it to fall when I am on vacation. So I am waiting to place the order until December so that it gives me a whole month of it trying to get here so it should be here by January so don't feel like you you know completely missed out on it just it does take a long time for these wholesale products to get here so they will be back just not at this moment another thing that is possibly coming as well in 2024 are going to be these like smaller size moss poles you can see them here and hopefully this completely transparent one that you can barely see on camera a few months ago i received these as samples and i've been thinking on it and i do think that i'm going to bring in the mini size which is this size this is is what the mini looks like and this is what the one I have on the shop looks like so the mini and then this one is a small I don't know if we're gonna do black um, just because I don't think black is really gonna sell like that I do sell white and people definitely prefer clear over white but I feel that white is a very specific aesthetic and some people really like it so I'm going to keep the white but yeah this is also something to look forward to coming for 2024 I will be having the minis as well.
I just finished all the pots and that other shelf as well. So now I need to start working on everything over here. So on the side of the room, I keep my desk and this is pretty much where I like fulfill all the orders. I keep like all of my stationary stuff. It is officially heat pack season. So I just ordered a ton of 72 hour heat packs and here they are. I do have some from last year still, but I want to keep them in my little rolling cart thingy, this thing right here. This is actually one of those Ikea, you know, that, that cube furniture that they have. Uh, James put wheels on the bottom for me so that I can move this around wherever I need it, which is super convenient. And on this, I keep all the stuff that I need. So like pens, markers, all my stickers, stuff like that, that I use to pack the orders. This is all plant stickers that get put in everybody's envelopes. I have all of my packing tape down here and all of the plastic wrap that I use to wrap the plants. In this open space here, I wanna be able to shove in the heat packs so that I can easily grab them as well. This is the heat pack brand that I use. I like to use Uni Heat. I just prefer this one. I do only get the 72 hour one because I do ship USPS priority mail uh, one to three business days. So this will last all the three business days that it's in the mail. If the package gets delayed like one more day, it does stay pretty warm like for an additional day or two. Um, and I do make sure I pack everybody's order in the winter time really secure. And I add a lot of like cotton in there. I do have like thermal wrap, all types of stuff. These are some of the old 40 hour ones that I have from last year. Um, I only recommend 40 hours for people who like live in the same state as me, New Jersey. So there actually is a new function on my website. If you are a shop owner and use Squarespace, now on any product page, you can have additional products like linked underneath of the product to like add on to it. So as you see here, now when you guys shop the plants, you'll see the heat pack right here. So you can go ahead and add it. But I think this is a really good feature because it kind of reminds you that like, hey, like you might need this heat pack. I have a whole Windsor policy, so make sure you do read that before you make a purchase with me. So if you are experiencing weather 40 degrees and below, please make sure you add a heat pack. And also keep in mind that you have to remember that just because your state is warmer does not mean that the seller state is warm either. And remember your package is going to be traveling in between states. So just keep that in mind, just because you live in a warmer climate does not mean where you're buying something from is. Not just for me, but for anybody that you're purchasing from, like plants, keep that in mind. It's always better to be safe than sorry. I just have this regular box and it fits pretty perfectly under here. So I'm just going to fill this box up with the heat packs and shove that under there. And these are the ones I had from last year. So I wanna use these ones first. So I'm going to put them on the top. I would use this bin, but it's too big for the space. So I'm just gonna give this bin to James so he can use it in the garage or something. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. Holy crap, that is extremely heavy. And then when I'm done everything, I'm going to like do a deep clean in here, like wipe everything down and stuff. It's just, I'm trying to wait until I'm done because I have stuff everywhere. This is also where I keep my little scale, which I need a bigger scale because it only, I think it only goes up to like 12 pounds. And recently I've had some packages that were over it and it doesn't weigh it. So I've just been guessing, <laughs> so. I definitely need a bigger scale. So I've been at this for quite a few hours now. It's definitely dark outside now and I still need to do this closet. I'm probably not going to record this. I'm probably just gonna show you the end result because this is super boring and you guys probably don't care, but this closet has every single box that I use to ship out the plants. It has all types of used pots and glassware at the top shelf just for propagations and um, like my plants and stuff like that. So I just keep them there. I keep like um, some other supplies in here as well but it gets super super messy as you can see I've just tossed boxes in here and there is perlite in here there's like a ton of stuff in here soil mix everything so I'm gonna go through and try to get this a little organized so that when I'm getting my boxes out it's not such a hassle because right now it's just a lot. I'm gonna finish this and then finish cleaning up the room and then I'm gonna show you guys the whole room when it's nice and clean
happy Sunday, everybody. We have quite a few plants that are going out this week. I also did have a ton of non-plant orders that I like to ship out as they come in. So I usually don't record those. I usually just wait until like Sunday when I have like majority of the plant orders to show you guys like the packing process. So I do have quite a big packing session ahead of me. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys all the plants that sold this weekend. And I'm just going to jump right into it so that I don't waste any more time because I did wake up a bit late today. Usually on Sundays, I try to get up early and bang it out as fast as I can because packing plants is very particular and it does take a long time. If you are new to packing plants yourself or you're just new to the whole online plant selling thing if you don't really understand it, most of us sellers um, usually pick one day to pack, usually on a Sunday night or a Monday because we have to really plan out the days we're going to ship the plants because we can't really have them sitting in the mail too long. Since it is heat pack season now, the process does take a little bit longer because now I can't seal up the packages at night. I have to seal them up in the morning because I have to activate the heat pack in the morning so it doesn't waste it today. It does definitely take a few hours. So if you are planning on getting into this type of business, make sure you are prepared for that. Make sure you have the space for it and make sure you have the right materials because you will need a lot of materials. So it is very particular and it is a lot of steps, but it is really worth it in the end seeing like all of you guys like tell me how lovely your plant was when you unboxed it that it had no damage and everything like that. So this is something that I like to spend a lot of time on because it's very important and yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So let me show you guys the plants. We have Anthurium clarinervium, two Hoya Bella intervariegated, Philodendron Melanochrysum, Philodendron Burl Marks Fantasy, two Cirrusis Mirabellus, Syndapsis Silver Hero, Anthurium clarinervium, Epipremnum Pinnatum Marble, two Philodendron Billies, Philodendron Red Anderson, Anthurium Villanorum, Monstera Albo, another Anthurium clarinervium, and then all three of the Monstera Thai constellations. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started and I will check in with you guys tomorrow once I finish sealing up all the packages. Just wanted to jump in here and say thank you guys so so much for all of your support and all of your orders. I had a ton of orders this week and I honestly am shocked every single time that I have these large weeks so thank you guys so much. I do have some things planned for Black Friday as well so you can look out for that. This week and last week I was just very very busy trying to get the restock out so I'm definitely feeling a little bit burned out so I apologize if this vlog and the last vlog weren't so jam-packed with me like doing some sit down things and stuff like that hopefully in the next couple vlogs i can do some more sit down things and talk through some plant chores and stuff like that it's just whenever i get a new shipment in and i have these big restocks i do get a lot of orders and i just have to make sure that my shop is running smooth so definitely my shop is a priority over youtube and i know you guys understand that so hopefully in the next few vlogs i can do some more sit down things i did have some things planned for this vlog but i will be completely honest with you guys it is not happening i just had a lot going on and just no time to really sit down and get what i wanted done so i will just schedule that for the next vlog and since the holidays are coming up I have stuff to do every single weekend and family and friends you know it's a lot of stuff so hopefully in the next few weeks things get a little bit easier to manage but I do hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys next week in my next one bye